everyone. It's been a long time. And I'm so excited I'm making a new video. Woo! Um, I'm gonna do today for my comeback video, um, comeback video. I'm gonna do a tag that's been making the rounds through YouTube. And it is the Colors of the Rainbow tag. And apparently this tag was created by Talk Becky Talk. And um, basically you just choose products that you like, um, well, your favorite products, that correspond to the, to the colors of the rainbow. And those colors are, I'm reading because I'm not going to remember these off the top of my head. <laughs> I will, but you know what I mean. You got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Now those are the colors of the rainbow. And then they added, she and her friend that did it together, um, added pink and multicolor. Um, I watched Blair's video. Um, and she added gold and I thought that was a really cute touch. So I'm going to add gold too. So I'm doing these colors and I'm going to get right into it. Um, red. Red is the first color and everyone's going for MAC lipsticks and stuff and then MAC lipsticks are great. But my favorite, favorite red lipstick of all time is by Avon. It is called Red Kiss and it's the ultra color rich moisture seduction lipstick. But it's, um, it's a little funky there. You can see it's kind of got all these colors. That's the moisture thing in it, but it's a gorgeous red, and I'm going to show you. Can you see? It is stunning. This is my go-to red lipstick. I love it. So for my other, I chose a couple of products, I should say. I hope this is not cheating, but I could not pick just one of anything. So, so I chose two products of each, um, and in one case, three products. Anyway, uh, my next red is actually the Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stain. And this one is in the color Romantic. And it is really, really, you can see, really light right there. Um, and it really does feel like a lip balm going on. And um, when it starts to go away, it tends to just look like a lip stain, which is why it's called a balm stain. Duh. Um, and it's really, really beautiful. I love it. So, moving on to orange. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, nail polishes. And I actually have quite a few nail polishes in this thing. Because uh, I really love nails. If you follow me on Twitter. And I'm now on Instagram. Yay! Um, you'll know I love nail polish. And these ones, my cousin actually came in from Canada. And she went shopping in the States for me. Thank you, Kathleen. I love you. And she got this from TJ Maxx. That's what it says here. This is by Barriel Shades. And this is in the color Gotta Have Fate. And it is a gorgeous, you know, corally orange, tangerine sort of color. And I'm really into these colors for some reason all of a sudden. I wear black. I mean, in case you couldn't tell, I wear black all the time. And um, suddenly I'm into orange. It's very strange for me. So the next things, these were actually sent to me. Uh, if you read my blog, I link everything down there. Ooh. Something fell over. If you link, if you read my blog, which I'll link down there, like I said, um, you'll know that I got a gift from a friend, Christy, and she sent me the um, Maybelline Vivids, two of them, and of course the one that is orange is the one I'm going to show you, but this one is pink. But the packaging is orange, and this one is in the color what is it called? Vibrant Mandarin, and I'm actually wearing it now, and it is super pigmented. And super gorgeous and I think this is one of those shades that's just flattering on everyone stunning next color is yellow and I don't really wear a lot of yellow um, I don't wear yellow clothes I don't like yellow all that much but this is a must-have must-have and the packaging is yellow and it's my Carmex um, and the stuff is yellow too haha <laughs> well I guess it's not really yellow it's clear but in the container looks yellow I love the smell of Carmex. Oh, I just love it. Um, and then one other thing that I found that was yellow that I really, really adore is my newly, in my newly acquired sugar pill. Um, Burning Heart palette. And that, of course, is Butter Cupcake. Which, I mean, if you've ever tried sugar pill. The cat is pulling at my little makeshift curtain behind her. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on to green. Green. I have two things for green. One of them is a nail polish again, and this one is by Color Club, and it is in the color Wild Cactus, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a, I actually have it on my pinkies for my ombre 
sort of thing going on uh, that I also posted on Instagram. Um, that's that one. Stunning. Love it. And then my other favorite green, favorite green, love it, wear it all the time, is from this Alame Intense Eye Color Trio. This one is the Trio for Hazels, number 33 for Hazels. And it's that green there. And I'm going to swatch it for you. I hope that you can see this on this camera because this is just, it's a gorgeous dark green. And if you put it on over, you know, a black eye base, obviously it's going to get even more intense. The next one is blue. And this is also uh, another nail polish. Um, this color is fabulous for summer. Um, it's, I love it. And it also was brought to me by my cousin Kathleen. And this one is by Color Club again. And this one is called Bright Night. And it really is just this stunning um, cobalt blue color. Let's see if you can see that. It's really, really a creamy, vibrant color. It's gorgeous. It works really, really well because it's super pigmented. One coat does the trick. It's incredible. And my other blue is another sugar pill product. And this one actually looks white in the container, but anybody who's used it knows that it has a blue cast. It's called Lumi. And I'm going to swatch it just in case you don't know what it looks like. Um, you can see it. It's got a sort of bluish um, duochrome type shine on it. Love it. And the next color is indigo. So a lot of people don't know what indigo is. Indigo is a bluish purple. It's very dark. It's neither blue nor purple. It's both. Um, and it's very hard to find that kind of color in, you know, makeup and stuff. At least I found it is. But I found two things. And here's one that's actually not makeup. This is um, something that I live by. Noxima. And the packaging is kind of indigo. It's got both blue and purple hints in it. And this, of course, is just the deep cleansing cream. Um, I use this with a washcloth at night to take off my makeup. And I'll actually post a skincare video soon because... Um, I changed my skin routine up a little bit and I'm seeing huge results and you know I have super oily skin that drives me crazy um, and that's for another video but yeah that's one love it can't live without it my Noxzema and the other one is one of my most favorite nail polishes ever yes another nail polish I am actually a nail polish freak it is called Yoga Yogata Yoga to get this blue it's by OPI and it actually has both blue and purple in it and it's very dark and this is actually getting kind of goopy because I use it so much but it ugh, ugh. I don't even think I can find something white to swatch it on for you nope not right now but yeah yoga to get this blue gorgeous color ugh. okay so the next color is lavender and for lavender I actually have three products now please don't laugh I was struggling to find things that weren't actually makeup or um, um, nail polish. <laughs> this I use all the time. It's Johnson's Bedtime Lotion and it's made for babies. I was bought, I bought it for my daughter, but I actually really, really love it. I love it because I can't stand things on my skin. I hate the feel of body creams and stuff because I live in a really, really humid climate. and. When I put on body lotions and shea butter, which I really love to use, don't get me wrong, I love how they smell, I like how they feel when they go on, but you know, the minute you hit the humidity and you start to sweat and it just starts to slide, your, oh, oh, no. This, because I guess maybe it's because it's made for babies, it rubs in and it rubs in and it absorbs and it's not super thick, um, goopy, and it's got purple packaging. It smells like lavender. Um, it's. It smells lovely and it's supposed to calm baby down. I love it. And it reminds me of when she was a little baby girl and I, oh. And again, it just takes me back. And if you're a mother, you know, or a parent, you'll know what I mean. You smell that smell that of, you know, I don't know, body wash, something your baby used to use. Oh, so I love using it. It's my little remembering my baby when she was a baby and not when she was, you know, three and a half and a diva. So my next lavender item is by a company called Ferronay. Now if you don't know Ferronay, you need to get on the bandwagon and figure Ferronay out. Ferronay.com. Please try it. This one's called Parental Advisory and I got the minis. These are like 250 US obviously on their site and they ship them here to Barbados. So for my Barbados viewers, if you're wondering, they ship them here. The shipping was free if you buy more than $50 US. Wow. Um, I'm going to show you this color. Parental Advisory. Oh, if I can get it open. Okay. You get 
two grams of product in the mini. I can't even imagine what the big one's like. Um, but yeah, it is. Fair I can't even say enough about Fernet, and I've got I don't have enough time to go into them now. Um, and I'll actually put a link below to Pretty Making. Um, that's Mandy Everly's blog. She has swatched and reviewed pretty much every single one of the Fernie uh, shadows, I think, um, and they're amazing. And my last lavender product is my Real Techniques brush. It's lavender. I love all the Real Techniques brushes, and I can't put them all in the video because it would take far too long. This one is the Delu Deluxe Crease Brush, and I do use it on my eyes. I use it to blend in foundation under my foundation concealer under my eyes. These brushes, I mean, yes, they are worth it. They do live up to the hype, and they're not even all that expensive. I know me, I complain about prices all the time, um, especially in Barbados. These, these, wow. Real techniques. So this color is pink, and uh, I've got a nail polish here. This is one that was added on, because pink is not actually in the rainbow. Um, it's called Flamingo. It's by Color Club, and it's a bright neon pink. Love it. And then my second pink color is from Hard Candy. It's Fox in a Box. It's called Hot Flash, and it's a blush. Um, it's got four colors, but when it's all t blended together, it's really pretty and pink, and I'm not really a big pink blush person, but I love this one. Love it. So the last two products added on um, are Multicolor, which was in the original tag, and then I've added on Gold copying Blair. Thank you Blair for the idea. Um, I'm going to do multicolor first. The first one is LA Colors. This is really cheap, a cheap palette. I mean, Kathleen left the price on. It was $4.99. Um, not sure where, but LA Colors. And it's this fabulous palette. And it has all these different colors and they're really, really well pigmented. I mean, they're actually quite stunning. Try purple. Yeah, they're really, really quite nice. I haven't used these on my eyes yet, but I have swatched them. I love them. And then my other multicolor is another Fairney eyeshadow. I have to give them some love. I'm sorry. This one's called Immortality, and it looks gray. It's like a dark slate color. And I hope you can see this, but it's got all those multicolor shimmers going on. Look at that. Wow, I'm going to swatch it. This has to be one of the most beautiful eyeshadows ever. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And the last color is gold. And I've got two quick golds to show you. My Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Studio. And the color bold gold. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very, very pretty. And then, of course, <laughs> you can't talk about gold without talking about sugar pill. Um, Gold Deluxe by Sugar Pill, and I'm just going to show you it just, just in case, just in case you don't know. Just in case. Yeah. yeah. Just in case you didn't know. That's with no primer, uh, no nothing. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. So that's it for my, my Colors of the Rainbow Tag. Ugh, I can't talk. I forgot how to talk. It's been fabulous doing a video again. I really missed it. And I'm going to do quite a few more. I have got some tags, some other tags that I wanted to do. Um, like I'm going to get my husband to do my makeup. And that should be really interesting. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.